is man's best friend, our four-legged pals who see us through thick and thin, whether it's a dog, a cat, a bird, or another creature. If you've had a pet, you know they're part of the family. And the love they give to their owners is just the same for Victoria's homeless community. V. Cooper shows us how they're getting the help they need. So yeah, he's got a fractured tooth there. Max is in pain, but thanks to these volunteer vets, he's getting the help and medication he needs. We're trying to meet the needs of homeless and low-income pet owners in Victoria. Stress, be good. Dr. Vermeulen founded Vets for Pets in September 2009. She saw eight pets that day. Now, she and about a dozen volunteers see close to 60 pets once a month, 10 months a year. We provide free vaccines, uh, free flea control, free deworming. Uh, we try to manage skin disease, eye infections, ear infections. But that tooth could cause them problems long term, so we'll have to keep an eye on it, okay? The free vet care is a huge relief to Max's owner, Susan. Almost definitely. I couldn't afford it. Family smile. Because for low income or homeless Victorians, caring for themselves is tough enough. Finding money to care for their dearest companions can be almost impossible. I think the hardest stories we see here are people who come and their animals have something um, significantly wrong with them, whether it's a lump or something like that, that we don't have the diagnostics to do here. So good ear scratches, hug his head closer to your head. Because here is the courtyard of our place. When I wanted to start doing consistent free veterinary care for the homeless people, I actually had a bit of a challenge finding a space that would um, let us come in. And our place society really stepped up. Uh, it seems to be pretty good. Apparently we're on a quiet day, but it seems pretty steady so far. It feels really good. We're helping the animals and we're helping the people. So I feel like we're really providing a nice service for the community. They haven't seen the vet yet. They have simple issues. It's reinsurement for our animals that they have people out there, you know, willing to give their time and effort to look after them all. And while the veterinarians volunteer their time and pharmaceutical companies donate some drugs, funding is always a challenge. A tax-deductible donation to our place specifying Vets for Pets will go a long way to help the best friends of Victoria's less fortunate. This check program is brought to you in part by Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.